The 501st Combat Tank Regiment, 501 RCC, Regiment de Chars de Combat, of the French Army shared a video on its Facebook account on November 23, 2023, revealing the arrival of the first Leclerc combat tank upgraded to the Leclerc XLR standard, thus becoming a fourth-generation tank. This video marks an important step in strengthening the capabilities of the French Army. France has begun modernizing its Leclerc tanks to the XLR standard, a project conducted at KNDS facility in Rouen. The first two XLR tanks were delivered in June, and the Army expects to receive the first batch of 18 operational tanks in 2023, with a goal to upgrade 200 of the 215 Leclerc tanks currently in service by 2029. This initiative aims to enhance the capabilities of the Leclerc tank and integrate it into the Scorpion program. As part of this program, a new combat and information system, the Scorpion Information and Command System, SICS, will be integrated. This will enable the Leclerc XLR to connect with other Scorpion vehicles such as the Griffin, Jaguar, and Serval, forming a unified communication and battlefield management system. The Leclerc XLR is equipped with the contact tactical radio system and shares a common electronic system with other Scorpion vehicles. It benefits from an open electronic architecture, providing flexibility for future upgrades. Additionally, it is equipped with an NBC protection system and night vision equipment to enhance its capabilities in various operational environments. A significant aspect of the upgrade is the integration of a new armor package. The Leclerc XLR incorporates additional modular armor on both the hull and turret, thereby improving overall protection. The front part of the hull side is protected by thick passive armor, while the rear section features wire cage armor to defend the engine compartment against RPG attacks. The rear part of the hull is also equipped with wire cage armor for additional protection. Regarding crew safety, a notable change has been made to enhance survivability. The driver's shell magazine, which previously stored 18 cannon shells, has been completely removed, thus eliminating the risk of ammunition detonation in close proximity to the crew compartment. However, this change reduces the ammunition capacity, leaving only 22 rounds in the autoloader magazine located in the turret's rear niche. The protective and offensive capabilities of the Leclerc XLR have been significantly enhanced. It now offers improved protection against mines and rockets, and includes a remotely operated 7.62mm weapon station designed specifically for urban combat. Furthermore, a new fire control system has been developed, enabling the tank to fire programmable ammunition for enhanced precision and effectiveness. However, the modernization efforts have raised concerns, particularly regarding the increased weight of the tank. The previous version of the Leclerc, known as S3 or SXXI, weighed approximately 57.4 tons, while the transformed Leclerc XLR is expected to weigh around 63 tons. This weight increase has raised questions about the potential limitations it might impose for future technological development. The Leclerc, a French main battle tank, was designed to replace the AMX-30. Developed in the 1980s, the first batch of Leclerc tanks was delivered to the French Army in 1991. It is characterized by its modular composite armor, a 120mm smoothbore gun, and advanced technology. With a V8 diesel engine, it can reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour on roads and 45 km per hour off-road. The Leclerc has participated in conflicts such as Operation Desert Storm and is highly regarded for its firepower, mobility, and modern design. It is currently in service in France, the United Arab Emirates, and Jordan.